Hey guys, it's Kimberly and my babies just woke up so they wanted to say hello, right girly girls? Say hi! That's right. Oh Alright guys, um, so I'm doing a tutorial today with the Pantone color of the year. Um, this is Radiant Orchid. I'm sure everybody has seen this around. It's a beautiful color and I'm so excited to kind of incorporate it into a look. Um, I did do eyes, cheeks, and lips, but creating a look... Um, that you use all of the this color on all parts of your face you gotta you gotta be pretty careful because you don't want to look crazy um so anyways i did do my eyes they turned out like this they're just kind of a muted um matte eye look with this color and i'll insert some pictures as well so you guys can see um but i did use two um elf beauty book palettes that look like this i wanted to use these just to show his paisley chasing you it's okay I did want to use these just to show that you do not have to go out and buy um, the Pantone Color of the Year palette at Sephora. You can create a look with colors that you already have by kind of mixing things and playing with stuff to create a, a look. So um, anyways, I did use both of these palettes for our eyes, which were five bucks a piece. Um, and then I did use the Sephora Pantone Universe um, palette for cheeks just because I've been kind of looking for a palette. This is a palette that looks like this and it has the Pantone Color of the Year. Um, as a blush and then it has two um, highlighters as well so I did use this for my cheeks and then I used the new Melted um, by Too Faced um, and this is in um, Melted Violet to get this lip color. Alright guys so if you want to see how I created this um, eye, cheek and lip look please keep watching. Hey guys, alright to start off with we're just going to prime our eyes and I'm using the e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer um, just because this is what I had handy. Um, but you can use any kind of primer that you want and just put that on your lids to prime for the color. Alright, and now taking my favorite blending brush, this is by Mary Kay and it's an eye crease brush and I am going to be using the Elf Beauty Book, and this is the nude one, um, and the color is, I don't really know, it doesn't say exactly what the color is, I don't think, mm, so anyways, yeah, we're just going to be buffing this lightest, uh, not lightest, but the color that I showed you, um, just kind of a neutral shade, a um, couple shades darker than my skin tone, into the crease, and this is just for a nice transition color. And then taking a flat shading brush. Um, this is also by e.l.f. Um, and I don't, it's just the one dollar um, shading brush. We're going to be taking this other e.l.f. beauty book and it is in Party is what it's called. And we're just mixing those pink and purple colors together um, in order to get a good Pantone pinky purple color. And then just pack that onto the lower portion of your lid. All right, now going back in with that blending brush that we used for our transition color, I'm just going to be softening out that look just on the edges. Now using this angled tapered uh, brush by e.l.f. It's a defining eye brush. We're going to be using this kind of gray toned color um, and just putting that out in the outer V and blending in towards your crease. That's just to kind of define the outside edge of your eye just a little bit. Now with a clean blending brush, this one is just by Real Techniques, just blending that out um, and making those edges not so sharp. 
Now I'm going back in and just touching up that um, radiant orchid color that we created just because we lost a little bit of that intensity when we were blending. So just touching that back up. And then with a flat shader brush, this one is by Mary Kay and it's called the Eye Blending Brush, just taking the lightest color in the um, nude palette, I'm going to highlight my brow bone and down into the uh, inner corners. And now taking my Rimmel gel liner, um, this is just a waterproof gel liner in black, and I'm going to be um, lining my upper lash line and uh, doing a small wing. Alright, now for mascara, I'm going to be using uh, Rimmel London's The Max uh, Volume Full Lash Mascara and just doing a couple coats on my um, top lash. I'm going to line my bottom lash line. I'm just going to be using the Real Techniques um, a smudge. Well, it's called an accent brush. And I'm just going to be taking that pink and purple color again from the Elf um, Beauty Book in Party and mixing those two together and putting that on pretty much the whole way across my bottom lash line. And then taking a little bit of black that's also in that um, party book, um, just putting that in the outer edge just to create a little bit more drama. And then I'm going to blend that out just a little bit. And now mascara for bottom lashes as well. Alright, now for our cheeks, I'm going to be using the um, 
Sephora Pantone Universe palette, which I love. Um, I had a little bit of trouble finding a good Pantone um, color of the year, which is already an orchid toned blush. So I went with this palette instead. Um, it came with this pretty color um, blush in Radiant Orchid. And then there's also um, a Bridal Rose in Spanish Villa um, highlighter. I'm going to be using these. Uh, what am I going to be using? Spanish Villa. That is the one as a highlight. And I just used my e.l.f. Um, bronzing and bronzing brush and then the e.l.f. small tapered brush for a highlight. Um, and now I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows and I'm just using the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Kit, which I really like in Ash Brown. Um, it comes with a wax and two different colors. I like to use the um, lightest shade for my eyebrows and then I, I like to use the darker shade in there. Um, it's kind of a mm, really dark ash brown um, to contour as well. So it's multi-purpose. Yay! Right now for lips, I'm using the new Too Faced Melted Lipstick, and this one is in what? What is it in? What color is this? Oh, Melted Violet. It's beautiful. I love it. This is how the look turned out. Um, just a very muted eye look with a pop of color on your cheeks and lips. And I think it pretty much um, amplifies the Radiant Orchid color. So I am very excited about that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and like the video. Um, please subscribe also if you haven't already. And check me out at BigHairHighHeels.com for fashion and all kinds of stuff like that. So uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you all have a fabulous day. Bye.